Yo, Bobinator. Everyone else, how you doing? I'm back. I don't know when the next Hoi MP will be. Probably this weekend, though. But uh, I don't know when it will be. Uh, but um, I just I, I haven't been able to play Hoi this uh, last week, so uh, I'm, I just felt a little bit of Hoi. Doing some single player, and I was like standing in the shower. I was like, you know, I play Poland single player. That'll be fun. That is literally uh, what my train of thought was. So. Hopefully it'll be good. Thank you, Barbonator, for the 28. And Lady Ironborn for the 3 gifted. I appreciate it. Thank you. Rack laughing at the 13 as well. Hope you had a good weekend. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't call it the best weekend. Uh, but it was, it was a weekend, alright. It was a rough weekend. Uh... We build mills or just Yeah, real game tonight, Zoomer. Real game. I'm gonna do this one and hopefully get the achievement for it. Cheese with the 43 looking into the future to see how your nation will do in late game Vicky Excuse me I'm playing Italy and now I'm Poland. I, 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 I do want to know how I'm gonna end up with Poland If that's the case I'm gonna do a bunch of standard stuff and then train Do I even want to build sibs or just spam mills? We have stuff to fight with. Yeah, Star Wars clone, I did have that. I was at a funeral uh, for my uncle and uh, had a birthday party for my niece. Right afterwards, we literally went from the funeral, went to church, or then went to um, usually eat some food after the funeral uh, and have uh, funeral beers and cake. And went straight to back to get cake for the birthday as well. What a real weird um, registry of feelings throughout that day. You went through everything. Funeral beers? What? But that's the standard thing that you do here. Like, you invite people to come to church. Like, you don't really invite, but you can come to church if you want. And then after the church, you invite the people who want to, to go over. And usually what you'll have is, um, actually, funnily enough, the bread that I usually talk about uh, is usually what you'll have there. And then you'll have some cake and coffee and beers. And you just sit there and uh, it's a way of getting over the grief. That makes sense. Like uh, you sit there and you just talk to your family and friends and stuff. It's it's a it's, it's a standard custom here. It's not when you say drink the pain away. That's not even it. Like it's not like you drink fucking ten beers. You have a beer, maybe two. It's also soda. Other things. Now you just, it's just one funeral event, and that's it. So, uh, the last couple of years, guys, uh, I've literally, like, had someone I, I've known, uh, three family members die uh, once a year, my uh, grandfather, my grandmother, and then we had a year where no family member died, but Rilber died, and then this year I had my uncle die. Can we, can we have, uh, like, no Christmas without someone dying, please? Please, guys.
Uh, they all died to... Well, Robo didn't die to cancer, but uh, my family members all died to cancer as well. Can you hire women to cry at the funerals over there? I'm pretty sure most people will just cry on their own. Like, myself included. Which ta chat tactful as ever, exactly, Suma. Oh, the left up position dies down if you do this, okay. Wait, no, it removes both of them? Okay. Does that mean you have a high. It, it, when I. The. the Again, this is the problem with, like, um, English as a language. Um, you don't have a specific word for um, if the uncle, like, your uncle is blood-related or not. Like, you don't have that word, right? We have, uh, you, you just have uncle and aunt. Like, so if it's, like, but we have that word in Danish where you'd call him uh, uh, uncle or uh, mabror, fabror. Those are like three words for uncle. And uh, the two other ones is uh, if it's your father's brother or mother's brother. Then it's technically still an uncle, but it you have a specific word for it, and that's if it's blood-related. There's not a step-uncle. I wouldn't call it that. You just, an uncle is someone that's not blood-related, uh, and a, <laughs> that that's someone who's married into the family. So that means that they, uh, like, uh, it, it, this uncle that died was uh, my father's sister's husband. So that, that's why it's easy to see if it's blood related. That's why when you ask me, is it, do you know if it is, um, where was it? It's a question. Do you know if it's, uh, well, well, someone asked, I, I can't see it right now. I'm looking for, for the fucking message. I'm blind. Does that mean you have a high chance of dying to cancer yourself? No, because he was not blood related. So it's, and either way, it wasn't really genetic cancer either. It was like a, uh, is it mole? Is that a thing? Is that the word for it? It's paternal or maternal uncle. Aunt. Okay. Okay, so which one should you? Which one's the meta to do here? Is it the Habsburg one or is it the uh, Romanian one? I can't remember. Well, I kind of want to go down the Commonwealth claiming. I want to do that one. To get this one. Yeah, I want to go down that one. So sadly, we will not be doing this one over here. We will be doing the center one. Lithuania is better for Commonwealth. We're doing we're doing Poland though. We're doing Poland, Lithuania, Commonwealth. You don't have any achievement? I mean, if we can, that's why we're going down this path. But I really just wanted to try out Poland in single player. So they seem like uh, actually fun to play uh, after all the DLCs and shit. Also because of the Putin speech, of course. It's a dark and stormy night. Oh, Bron, the, the saying is the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth had just invented the Ukrainian culture as a way of turning them against the Russian uh, headquarters in the Kremlin. I 
agrarian reform. Where even is that? Oh, you have to go down and complete that before you do anything else. Okay, so I gotta focus on that. Or you can just station troops there. I mean, if you actually watch the interview, guys, we did. We watched the the full fucking interview uh, on Discord. I you you need to understand that it <laughs> that was a point where I think some of us, or a lot of us, said that like none of us really liked Tucker Carlson, right? But we almost felt bad for him sitting there having to listen to the rants. If you've actually watched the whole fucking thing, it. That was a, 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 about an hour and a half into it, I was sitting there looking at the, like, watch like I was in a bad fucking, like, lesson back in high school. Just waiting for it to be over. It was, it was so boring and bad. With Putin just ranting randomly. It was, it was bad, chat. It was really bad. What is my reaction about the Trump NATO statement? He's fucking crazy. Once again, I will say, again, with statements like this that, that he just said, I, I said it before, and people just said I was incredibly um, full of myself, and um, what, what was the word someone said that I, I was looking... Uh, I, I can't remember what the, word, what the phrase was people called me, but when I said you can't unironically vote for Trump, and I and then say the only reason why you would want to vote for Trump when he says shit like this is because you're not educated enough, you don't know enough, you don't know any better. That that's like it's condescending. Is that the word for it? But it's just it's true though. With the shit he says, you shouldn't want to vote for him. It's just he just said I don't want to defend them if they don't pay two percent. And, and, and as a matter of fact, I want to encourage them, uh, the opponents, to do that. They should just attack them. Like, you can't unironically believe that's okay, guys. Like, you, 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 you can't. Like, come on. It's the same shit with the people that think Putin's, like, it, it has got his shit sorted. Like, come on, man. Like, if you actually watch that interview and the shit he says in this, you, you've got to be trolling, man. You have got to be trolling. We gotta get the Commonwealth claimant. King Frederick. You guys got held hostage by Hungary for months until you had to strong arm or ban. Still did it though, Braun. Still did it. You guys are still being held hostage. And you guys are also in a way more powerful position than us. You guys are supposed to be the guys to do this shit. You guys literally make tons of money off of this shit. There he is. I, I, I'm not even kidding. I think if the U.S. actually, like, if you end up electing Trump and he somehow goes through with his, like, anti-European shit happening, um, I unironically think that, like, Europe will, like, get its ass together and will become a bigger power on the world playing field because of that. Because of that. It will grow so much stronger. I think it's actually helping Europe that there is turmoil in the U.S. On the long run, it'll help Europe that we won't be as reliant on the U.S. But it is... I don't know, man. <laughs> I love Broad actually trolling with that statement. 
The thing is, so many people that are like, oh my god, we're spending so much money on Ukraine. Like, as Americans, I'm just strict up saying Americans here. You don't understand that that money goes straight back to you. Like, you give away old equipment, so your army needs new equipment. And that new equipment needs to be produced in the U.S., creating jobs in the U.S. and money for the U.S. citizens. You don't understand that it's equipment that's just going to be scrapped anyways. That's just not going anywhere. It's not like you, like, you, you had the most of the equipment you've sent in value. is just old equipment just standing there. It's not new equipment. Except for the artillery rounds and stuff, but but again, the most of it, I don't know, man. Like it, the thing is, as Braun just said as well, the 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 here's a boatload of cash. That's the EU. That's that. It's the Europeans that give them the money. The Europeans are giving the money. America gives equipment. Is there a, uh, a guy to get political power? Yeah, this guy. Let's go. We gotta get this guy. EU doesn't give money. EU gives cheap loans. Uh, I, uh, okay. So first of all, let's take that statement. EU doesn't give... You also said they're spent in the US. I'm glad you said that too. That means that the money comes to the US as well. That, like, the U.S. gains from this. But, either way, EU countries separately, not just, if we're just talking EU policy, but European countries separately. I know for a fact that Denmark just gives them money. We don't give them loans. We give them money. Did you see that Denmark and other European countries called the prospect a European army unnecessary? I still don't think that we need a European army. I think it's fine the countries have their separate armies, and we just... Uh, structure like NATO. We could just have a, a European NATO if you want like that. Just like you have Asian NATO. Or oh, Oceanic NATO. NATO. If the EU federalizes more, an EU army will be necessary, potentially, but I also don't want the EU to federalize that much more. That's a different talk. It's an entirely different talk. Hmm. Stability or the other guy? Ooh, that, that, the Poland has some fucking good advisors, man. Wait, was that stability or was... Oh, it was stability. It wasn't even the PP. Ugh! I'm so stupid. It's insane to me how dumb Republican Party has become. I mean, it has become worse than what it was. Like, come on. Or maybe it was because they had better leaders under it, but... I, at least it feels like it's gotten worse. Peasant strike will be wait. Remove looming peasant strikes. The peasant strikes will be delayed by se what? That doesn't make any. Okay, I'm so confused. Oh, will abort? Okay, but why does it add to it? I don't understand. John wife of the twenty four. We're gonna put on some hoi four music as well. Might of the Soviet Union. Wow. Is Russia even a threat uh, anymore, considering their failure in Ukraine, declining population? I mean, they they are they will still be a threat for a couple, well, for at least a decade. Because at least, and especially if Europe doesn't... That's the one thing I will criticize European uh, citizens for. And I, I, I do a lot to try and educate people in my local um, society about it. Uh, or local uh, communities about it, not society. Um, that they take it for granted. Uh, like, 
uh, a lot of people have grown up without war, or wars have been far away in Afghanistan, Iraq. Um, like, a lot of people didn't, like, missed out on the Balkan Wars with the young population. There hasn't been anything in Europe, really. And, and it, it, they take all this... It, it for granted. They will all say, oh no, we shouldn't spend more on our army. We shouldn't uh, spend this much money when our... Uh, in Denmark, for instance, is a problem that because uh, we, we, we lack... Uh, we want a better uh, welfare system. They just they just always want more welfare. More welfare, more welfare, more welfare, which is good that they want that. But the problem is that welfare can be taken away for you. Those liberties can be taken away for you if a nation like Russia just puts everything into military production and goes into a wartime economy and nobody in Europe resettles their economy to a wartime or uh, restructures their economy to a wartime economy. Then a nation like Russia can take advantage of all these... It, 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 let's put it in the white terms. It's the equivalent of uh, you playing with building civs the entire game and Russia's building mills the entire game. Of course Russia's gonna win. Put it in the white terms for all dumbasses out there. But you gotta... Y Europe has gotta get its ass together and it is slowly doing it, but I would be doing it faster if... I would try to do it fast, but there's also the fact that you need to get material deals up and running and stuff like that and build the factories and shit. It's not something you do overnight, but unless you obviously end up in a war and you're the US, then you just do it overnight and suddenly you're producing a metric shit ton of stuff. I mean, the EU is literally civ greeting, though. That, that, that's, I, I, and that's the one thing that Trump said when he, when he became president initially. That was he was correct about, and I'm glad he said it because ever ever since then, I wrote a fucking project about this back when I was on my masters, uh, uh, studying on my masters, that uh, Trump was good for Europe. Like he made along with uh, uh, the shit that happened in Crimea around the time as well, um, he uh, and and uh, Russia being a threat over here, Europe realized, okay, shit, oh god, uh, America might not help us. Uh, shit, we gotta spend some money here. And, and that that was good for Europe. It, it was a wake-up call. But it, I, I would argue that it, it, Trump was bad for America as a whole. Like, it, you've, America has lost uh, some of its power it had over its world and some of the benefits it had over the world because people have... Some people are starting to lose faith in America. That's what I would argue. And it, as opposed to when you uh, had anyone prior to that, I love the Republicans so much, they spend months getting a border deal with massive concessions, then shoot it down when Trump is like, no, 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 don't do that, let me do it. Yeah, literally, because uh, probably Trump wants to be able to say, I did it, guys, look, Biden couldn't do it, I did it, guys. And then they literally shot it down. It's so stupid. L way more faith lost with Biden than Trump. I Predator Ninja. I don't think that's true at all. I, I, I think I. I'll be honest with you. So many people lost faith in the U.S. during the uh, the Trump presidency uh, that Biden had a whole lot of stuff to like get back to work on. Like he he had to do so much to get confidence restored in in, in the world, and he's fucked up so much. Like, Trump has fucked up so much that Biden had to, like, d deal with. I'm just saying, Americans will realize. It's kind of like some British people realized after Brexit as well. It's not entirely the same thing, but it is something you will realize eventually. It, you you can kind of draw some parallels to it. Because Britain benefited a lot from the EU as well. And there's a lot of people in, in Britain that now regrets Brexit. Some people will still stand by it. There will obviously still be people that will stand by Trump regardless of what he does or says. Uh, even if he, he, he pulls them out of NATO or whatever, he'll they'll still be like, hey, Trump, 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 guys. But uh, the same thing with Brexit. But at the end of the day, I think a lot of Americans will realize, oh, shit, it was a bad thing to elect Trump if he's again, again. Oh, 
Also, to, it, like, people, like, remember Trump as the shit that, like, oh, yeah, he, he tried... Some people will say, oh, he uh, normalized relations with North Korea for a bit, Braun, as well. But it, the whole thing ended with fucking Kim Jong-un saying Trump had, like, offended his honor or some shit. Like, the last letter sent to Trump or whatever. Like, he made the relationship terrible after all that shit. After all that fucking news shit that happened. It all ended with Trump, like, pissing off North Korea. Tony Fang with a 15. It was literally just, it just looked like the US was literally just jerking off like North Korea, and it, it did nothing. It did nothing. Except, except put in, like, it, it jeopardize, uh, like, everyone's faith in the US as, as, like, the one that can restore order and, and keep order done. What is this? Embargo Italy. I leave the League of Nations. I, I don't care. Okay, so how great are all these uh, these leaders? I don't know anything about the Polish Jews, honestly. Oh yeah, I forgot this is like vanilla, so you can't... I, I didn't want this many on it, though. Uh, do that, and then a, This guy. Max Entrenchment, that would be this guy. Just gonna grab all the guys that aren't, so we don't get that. There we go. Beautiful. This is an infantry leader. It's fine. <laughs> we'll just keep this guy. Actually, no. Let's do a shitter leader so he's easier to train up. Do they have any level ones? No, they only have level twos. I guess if there is a level, no. We have a commando. Wait, was that was that guy trying to hang on, let me check this. Uh the economy's been terrible under Biden. The job market is the toughest we've ever been. Uh some of the highest military weapons to the Taliban. That's the funniest shit as well. People seem to like think that it was Biden that did the whole Afghanistan thing. Biden just followed through with what Trump did. Like it, it Biden it, Biden's hand was forced because of Trump. It w it's the funniest shit, man. Do, do people not know about this? No, there was a plan. I don't think th he intentionally fucked it. This has got to be some, like, conservative narrative that you've been fed or something. I- I'm sorry, man. That- that is not true. Some of this shit, man. Come on. I- Live in the US. Do your actual research. What is your research? Let's actually, no, unironically, you just said, yeah, but I live in the US, so I know more about it than you. What the fuck does that have to do with the troops pulling out of Afghanistan? What? What? Do your research? I've probably done more research about these topics than you've ever done, bro! I have a bachelor's degree in political science and studied a master's degree in international relations. And you're like, yeah, I live in the US, bro.
bro, I've been at rallies where they all hate Biden. That's that's a biased rally. Excuse me. So if I go to a Putin rally where he screams Poland started World War Two, that means that Poland started World War Two. That's not research, bro. That you're you're going to biased like rallies and you say I'm talking about NASCAR and football games. That that's not research though. That's not research. What? Source NASCAR! There is no way I just heard that! There is no way! There's no way this is real! There is no way you're being real right now. You ha you, you this has to be a troll. Source NASCAR! <laughs> Yo dude! You don't live in the U.S. I've been to NASCAR events. I know more about the Afghanistan pullout than you do. Just think about that sentence, chat. Just think about that sentence. That was a plan. Like, did he, did he just sit there in the NASCAR stadium talking to some random, like, guy? And he was like, yeah, uh, Trump had a plan, but then Biden ruined it to make him look bad. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that kinda stunned luck me for a little bit there, chat. I'll get back to playing the game now. That was that's that's the that's that's one of the uh, the great, um, what can I say, uh, quotes of all time, Source NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Oh, that was great. That made my day. <laughs> Literally Rackla hit her in favor of the 21. Insane brain rot. <laughs> um, I, like, I, 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 it's always it, like sometimes it's a you can use the argument that I've seen this happen or I I've witnessed it with my own eyes or stuff like that as as an argument and an argument or seen that. But if you go to a biased event, like if you're just walking down the street and like you or like if you go to an event where the, the this crowd will hang out that will all have the same opinion or usually genuinely have the same opinion you're gonna be in an echo chamber and it, 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 it you're not gonna actually do research that's just ran like I don't know man But like the whole like thing with uh, you, you can argue some stuff locally. Like, um, if if you see if like it, let's say that you've been to like at at this point, I would like to start arguing to say that, for instance, I've witnessed uh, Danish bureaucracy uh, in and out like multiple times firsthand with how they've handled my tax case. I hear stuff from my mother who works in a different part of the country. Like I'm up here, my mother works down here. Uh, my sister who works up here somewhere. I've got uh, people working. Uh, I know people working in this area as well. And and it's all the same kind of where I hear from these people. They also have different political opinions. All these people. They all from different backgrounds. Oh, obviously my family is not from different backgrounds. But the friends I talk to are from different backgrounds. And I can tell that there's a problem with bureaucracy in Denmark. That there are sometimes. Like for instance my mother has to. She, she, she works in a government institution somewhere down here. And uh, her headset broke right. So she has to get a new headset. I'll actually just explain this uh, as, as it'll make the bureaucracy thing make sense. So she breaks her headset, so she can't talk to people that call the local government now anymore. So she has to get a new headset. She then goes on to the, they have like a little website they go on and order the headset on, right? Oh my god, the fucking Twitch bots. I swear to god, man. Why do they keep coming back? Give me a second. Can we put shield mode on again? Turn it on. There you go, I got it. 
when we follow mode. Okay, that's good. Yeah, we got it. Uh, anyways, so she, she, she her headset breaks, right? Uh, she works here, and she has to uh, get a new headset. So she goes onto this website, boom, she orders a headset. Oh, um, that wasn't the right headset. Uh, she ordered, uh, and she was told to order another headset, or, no, 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 she was using the wrong card or something, or uh, company card or whatever, or something, or not company card, but government card or whatever, so she had to go through someone else to order the headset and get her boss to order the headset for her, uh, she was told that, then her boss orders the headset, right? But they can't order it to this area, because that's not where the local government's headquarters is. The local government's headquarters is over here. So they have to order it here. She then has to spend an hour driving from this place to this place and back. Like, it takes an hour back and forth total. So she, And that's her work time as well. She has to spend doing this. Instead of just having it delivered here, it has to be delivered here. So she drives over here. When she gets here, she's like... The people at the local government headquarters then went... Here's your headset, but we don't know why you ordered a new headset. We already have 10 of these in stockpile. But she can't see there. there's 10 of them in stockpile from her place here. Uh, so she, when she's here, she says, oh, okay, well, uh, here's your headset. And she then has to drive back home. She then finds out that there's people driving back and forth every day anyways between these two places. That could have just delivered the headset for her. So anyways, they could have just, like, they bring out packages between the two uh, government institutions. And they could just bring the packages and it, they literally show up at her office every day anyways so it's just like why how the fuck is that an hour drive it's a 30 minute drive this way because there's no highways it's just a country road where you're allowed to drive like uh, somewhere between 60 and 80 kilometers an hour um but uh the the again the the, the stupid thing is she has done wasted an hour she's bought a headset that wasn't necessary and at the same time she didn't need to waste an hour doing this because there was a guy going there anyways it's shit like this where i'm like bureaucracy needs to fucking change why don't they just get the guy who's delivering packages or uh, I, she literally said there's a guy delivering milk in between like all the government institutions in this area as well why don't they just have the fucking milk guy like deliver the fucking packages like it's so fucking stupid It's a way to spend one hour at work. She isn't stupid. No, but it, the system is stupid. And the same shit with my tax case chat. You know the charity thing? That, uh... uh that, um... Uh, the, 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 we gathered in 2019. We gathered the $32,000 back then. That was... I'm being investigated, uh, uh... Because of the Twitch leaks two years ago still. It's, it's almost over now. But I wrote on Twitter as well that I was going to get taxed for that money. Because I, it, it spent one hour in my private PayPal, or not one hour, a day in my private PayPal before I could transfer it to the Cancer uh, Research Association in Denmark. And because of that, she was like, I can't approve this. This was your own money. And in order to get that approved, chat, because of the bureaucracy, she had to go to her boss. And her boss then had to go to that boss. And that boss then had to go to the next boss. And this process took, I think, about two months before they finally reached the boss that could approve it. It is so fucking bureaucratic and stupid that you couldn't just have some person sign off on it. And they spent so much time and resources on it. That's another instance of this shit that's just fucking stupid. It's just... And that, that's where I, uh, the point that I was making is, if you, if you can notice multiple parts of the country that has the same issues, and you talk to multiple people from different backgrounds, and you don't just talk to the guy at the NASCAR stadium about, like, uh, Biden's Afghanistan pullout. You, it's also a more, like, it's not even relevant. Like, the guy in the, in the NASCAR stadium probably has no first-hand experience with it either. Like, we talk to multiple people that have first-hand experience about it here. Then you can use that kind of as research. Because you've talked to multiple witnesses that have experienced this stuff. Whereas this guy literally just goes, Hey, to his, the guy sitting next to him, you know that stupid ass Biden? He, he fucked up that Afghanistan, right? Yeah, he sure did. Trump would have done that way better, man. He had a plan. Yeah, he sure did, buddy. And that's the end of that conversation, probably. And that's how he knew that there was a plan for Afghanistan.
Okay, what can I do in the meantime here? We don't need those guys. I feel like just doing the industry focuses because they look kind of good. Oh, that one seems pretty good as well. The consumer goods. Just get those early on. You literally have no consumer goods. Don't you think our king would do it better? No. You can use uh, that as representative opinions of several individuals, groups, communities, and specific places. So I guess it counts as research. Yes, because it's not... If you do all your research in this town, you'd be able to say, Okay, the bureaucratic... Uh, uh, there's bureaucracy problems in Alborg. But if you look at it throughout... The, if you if you get the same correlations from Alborg, Lolland, Copenhagen, and Aarhus, then suddenly there's a correlation on a national-wide uh, area. If you just do research and you ask one person for their opinion. I know it, it's not so good of a bonus anymore, but it's still a good bonus because we'll, we'll get it down. So that was, uh, what, like 15%? Oh, yeah, 10%. I'm just planning on building a couple sieves here. And then building mills. Would you like our new king? Yes. I like Frederick. I mean, he's a, he's literally a navy seal. Or well, the equivalent of a navy seal. Oh, Frogman. I don't know if that's actually a different thing. Do you, do, does America have different things? Do they, like, is Na Navy SEALs are like the, the boat special forces, right? Do they have f Frogmen as well, or is Navy SEALs considered Frogmen in the US? Frogman is army? Rangers for army? I mean, Delta Force and stuff like that too, right? I assume Navy SEALs is the equivalent of Frogman, right? I'm, ju I'm just guessing here. So I don't know if, if America has Frogman. It's just we call ours the frogmen uh, and the uh, na not not the navy seals are uh, the frogmen and a uh, hunter's call I guess that's how you translate it. Yeah, corpses. It's probably in the Danish tree if you look it up. One of the army one, right? Frogmen's corpses. That is the uh, maritime. Uh, Special Forces. This is the Greenland, like, uh, Arctic Special Forces. Serious Patrolion. Where are the Frogmen? This is like the National Guard. Those are like the people that will look down the barrel of a gun when it's loaded. Don't we have the Frogmen? No, not the Frogmen, the Hunters. So we just have Frogmen's Corpse. Green Berets, yeah. Okay, Frogmen are a section of the SEALs. Okay, yeah. So they're part, like, basically Frogmen is our Navy SEALs, and then we've got the Jaeger Corps. I don't think we have a third Special Forces branch in Denmark. Doesn't sound like you like it's just the meme. Come on, the home god is the home god is funny. The home god is the the funny guys in Denmark. They're the funny guys, okay?
We need some uh, some mills if Germany's not going to outpace us here. I don't even know if I'm going to hold off the Germans here. I, I've never like had a strategy. I just went in to produce guns and some other stuff. Can we add stuff to the army? No, we can't. We don't have any army XP. Chat is in slow mode because we had bots in here. I'm sorry. I guess Sirius Patron is technically special forces, well, yeah. You're right. We need more PP. Because then we can click this one. Oh! Wait, that one costs just guns? That's so cheap. Hang on. And we should... Well, we don't have guns, but we'll have guns soon. Pump guns. Britain will assure it, yes. I wonder how easy it is to defend against Germany in this game. When you start in 36, I have I don't think I've tried it. Opinion on the new president of Finland? I heard that he was gonna stand uh, with everybody. That's what I at least heard. Okay, so these things will also do stuff, and they're, and they're cheaper. It's 10 points and command power. Yeah, we'll do that one. Sway Lithuanian general. Gunship bro, fan of 46. I, I, I just heard that the fin new pre Finnish president should be a, a good for Europe and NATO as a whole. Yeah, we had a lot of politics, but uh, it is what it is. I mean, to be fair, we could just start deleting units. We could just delete these guys, right? Delete a lot of them. Just get the guns from them. That's four sieves. I don't even know how many guns do we have now. 2k? Yeah, we can do it now. Easy money. How much do you need it up to? Is it 100 before you can do it? You just gotta spam it, right? Or it's 80. Okay. And then go under a personal union. I mean, I'm not necessarily going for an achievement. I'm just chilling right now, I'll be honest. Okay, this is maybe too many sibs. We need to build mills instead, honestly. Spam the mills. We don't, we, we only have four super goods, that's okay. We're gonna get the guns back, right? Right? Hopefully we will. You need the Royal Guards focus? You do? Oh, for that one. Oh, yeah, you're right. We need to do that one right away. I'm kind of trolling by not having done that already, actually. So now I'll be late. Hey, we got a few more sibs. Invest in the eco.
That should be 15. We top of the 10 in a moment. That should be 80, right? Yeah, we're exactly at 80. Do you need to be more than 80? I mean, we might as well fuck it. And then save the PP. Does it do anything the higher it is? Well, let's just power through it. Will there be CS2 this week? Uh, I haven't actually... Did I play one game since I got back? I can't remember. I don't feel like I have. I feel like I've just been chilling. I, I played a lot of the... For those of you guys that were there... Um, uh, for the Homeworld stream... I remember I played the... Um, I played the... Uh, Armor Reforger uh, Ukraine War server afterwards. I mean, Swimmy actually went in and played a lot of that. That was a lot. I, that might make a video on that. It, it, some people are going to feel like it's controversial because, again, we were playing as the Russians. Uh, and <laughs> we, we, were, we were saying Z, but it's a joke, guys. And it's us joking with the Russian army. Uh, but we'll see. Um, and uh, that was uh, literally us just, like, repeating, constantly driving down the same road, getting gunned down by Ukrainians and U.S.s and Tigers. Um... It was uh, it was a sight to be witnessed, all right. And uh, then uh, <laughs> at one point, I was like, you know, you can take the enemy uniforms on. Why don't we just like go behind enemy lines and dress up as Ukrainian troops and uh, you know blend in with them and uh, you know commit war crimes. <laughs> and we we did do that. We 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 we, we did do that. So uh, that was a point where uh, me and Swimmy, and I was, uh, me personally, I was dressed up as a Ukrainian soldier on the Russian side. Um, and uh, I was running around uh, all the Ukrainians for uh, <laughs> for about an hour or two. And I, I would, I would like walk up to some people in some bushes uh, that I saw some people land, get dropped off in a helicopter. And I would run up to them from behind them, and and they'd be like hiding from like a BMP that was firing at them, and they'd see I had a law on my back, like, and they'd be like, "Oh shit, dude, you got a law!" And I would take the law, I would fire it completely and miss the BMP. I wouldn't even try to hit it, but just notify the BMP of the position and then get them killed and shit like that. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, we would go behind enemy lines in, in, we, we found a Humvee at one point. We drove around in a Humvee while we were dressed up as, as Ukrainians as well. And we would, we, we, there were landmines in this Humvee, so we drove behind enemy lines. Uh, and we would plant, like, mines on the roads where they would get their heavy vehicles. Wait, what's going on here? I, I, it didn't happen. Hello? And I, I, I would, I would place a mine on some dead bodies. And a, a fucking striker drove over the dead bodies and exploded. So I concealed it with like the dead bodies <laughs> of these people as well. It was uh, it was an experience. <laughs> well, the funniest part is. <laughs> The, the funniest part was when we were initially like dressing up and taking the clothes off of these Ukraine dead. We found some dead Ukrainians on the road, and we took their fucking uniforms. And while we were dressing up and getting their weapons and shit, some guy came driving up in a jeep next to us. That like, and he would it it and Swimmy hadn't managed to dress up fully. He still had his Russian AK in his hand, like while I was standing there fully dressed up in in my like. NATO equipment and with an M4 and shit 
and Swimming Ray still had his AK on his back, and, and we were standing there talking to him, but Swim, I don't think Swimmy realized he still had his AK on his back, and we were, like, pretending like we were on his side, and he's, like, just standing there, and he's talking to us, and suddenly he's, he pulls out his gun and aims it and shoots Swimmy, and I just have to pull up my gun and just gun him down as well, and I then steal his Jeep and drive off. <laughs> Oh, it's so fucking good. Hang on, I, I, I gotta see if I can show you guys. This was actually fucking hilarious. What the fuck is this? I wanna make a video on this, right? <laughs> but I, I feel like I'll be, it'll be received down, differently. Oh god, this is like when a Kinsel missile came flying down. Oh, what? Okay, I gotta... <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. I, just, I gotta I'm, give me a second here. Give me. Uh, give me a second here, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll undeafen the sound in a second. It's because there are, this is, a lot of people play this game on Xbox as well. One thing I've noticed is that there's a lot more racial slurs and, uh, um, just in general, words you cannot use on Twitch that get said from Xbox users than it, it, when you play on PC. So I gotta make sure that these guys aren't just dropping slurs left, right, and center. It's literally card lobby levels of like shit. Like it's it's fucking crazy in there. I'll tell you that much. I I'll undeafen the sound in a second. Just want to like watch through it to see if it's okay uh, to on stream here. All right, we're good, Chad. I can show this clip. I can show it. I got you covered. I got you covered. Let me see if I can, like, bring this up on screen. Oh, no. Why does this not show? I can just show the fucking... Fuck that. It is display capture. Or does it game capture? It's just it's to see what we've been doing. I, I kind of want to show you what we've been doing. Give me a second. Uh. I'll just display capture it. Uh, how do I make this full screen? There you go. So, like, we're, 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 we've, I've already dressed fully up at this point, right? Nickel. Alright, everyone, I'm trying to play inside Hilo. Hilo, sorry. And, and the funny thing is, you can kind of see that there's a naked guy right here front, as well. Sir? So it's a little sus. What? You taking us to the front? Uh, yes, I'm French. 
Right, we, we okay, can't get in. Fantastic. We don't have a vehicle. We need to get to the front. Yeah. We'll let's get wait in there. Uh, let's wait for uh, our uh, uh, shit. Yeah, uh, 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 our uh, commander uh, just uh, uh, shit. And okay, something crashes over here and explodes. We couldn't get in the vehicle because you can't get in vehicles with enemies as well. I think he also looks at the dead body. And he is an enemy. I want to put that out there. What? You see what that was? I just have to gun him down. God damn it! Are you okay, <laughs> Swimmy? No. What did you do, Swimmy? <laughs> no, I think it's because I had like an AK or something. <laughs> and he has the AK on his back, and you can also just see you. You, you can just see the dead guy in the background as well. If you just like look at. Oh, like the the naked guy in the back, you right? Something. You can see him right here. You can just see there's a guy without clothes as well. It's like Hitman. If 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 you don't hide the bodies, kind of thing. Like it's that level of shit that went down. So fucking stupid, man. Ah. Oh. Yeah, cuz you notice how he aims at me, but doesn't shoot me, but he like initially he just like he could have gunned me down first But he decided to shoot swimmy. I guarantee it's because of the fucking AK he shoots swimmy first So, would a future- I would love to do it, but the problem is, I don't know if it's okay with Twitch to do it when it's out of my hands. Like, if you- like, I know it's okay to stream, if- if- like, it, it- you're not gonna get banned if you play a CS match and somebody random in your lobby drops an end bomb or something. But, you- you- like, it, you- it, you have to show that you, like, try and avoid it. So, you have to, like, mute people that do shit like that. I can't do that in this. Because there's so many of them in there. I, I don't think I can stream it solely because of that. There are so many. It's, it's shit that I have to do just off stream. And then you just get the good bits off it. I would love to stream it though. It's so fucking fun in that server man. Uh, technically it's also against the rules what we're doing. Looks at the camera. Because apparently you're not allowed to um, um, take on enemy uniforms. Just like in real life. Um, but don't tell them. Don't tell them we did that. I will point out, we, it's not like we put on enemy uniforms and walked around amongst them and just started gunning them down. We, we, we did it, like, in a classy way, where we wouldn't engage people unless we got caught. I know it's war crimes and all that, but come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. A little war crime between friends, am I right, guys? Gonna need some more AA, gonna need some more artillery. Like, if you really wanna win, you need fucking planes, but I don't think we can get that, though. I think that's gonna be too expensive. Do we wanna knock these guys out immediately? They haven't done any of their industry, but... I mean, it's more factories for our own economy. And we get cars on all of it. It's like two extra factories. Plus, we can continue down the focus tree. Your Honor, we did it the classy way. Hey, I, I think the reason why the rule is there is it's, it, it's like cringe to run around in a combat zone in the enemy's uniform. But what we did is we run around, like, you know, behind the lines. We're, we're like, um... The CIA. Or, um... Uh, the, uh, 
what, what are they called? Um, like the the we're like the special forces. You were graves from COD, yeah. Well, not really. <laughs> One mils, that's a lot of mils actually. I'm just gonna continue down this focus. The Brandenburgers, that's the that's the World War II equivalent. Or SAS or Okay, how fast do we produce these mills? That's the real question, huh? So I want to like get out a lot of those. We're already at 14 mills. We gotta get up somewhere to around Germany's size to produce an army, and then potentially also some more stuff. We also want to get army XP so we can put this shit in it. Okay. What do we need? We need a lot of support equipment. We need to pump that out. Mills go under that. What CPU do you have? Uh, let me scroll down. Uh, an i9 11900K. Role playing the Germans by blowing up a radio town dressing. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, if you didn't notice as well in the clip, it's something that you'd need to know, I guess. Uh, if. If you weren't paying attention, uh, or if you didn't know, uh, you wouldn't know either, uh, but... Uh, there is, uh, you, you can pick up the enemy's radios as well, by the way. Um... <laughs> so, uh, we're actually running around with, uh, their sides. It's technically, uh, <laughs> the NATO radios we're running around with. Uh, and we can hear everything in their comms. So... Whenever, like, they go, we're heading back to base and shit like that, or we're going past this, we know exactly where they are. Or if they call out Russian positions, we know exactly what they're calling out and shit. It was so fucking based. Oh, we have cores on it. Nice. I mean, we got cores on a lot of other stuff, so... Do we get cores on shit like this? No, we don't. Okay. Okay, so we put this army group to attack up there. But we don't... Are we not connected via railway? Oh, what's going on here? Or do we not have trucks? Do we not have trucks researched? We do. I need to build trucks as well. Oh, and trains. We need fucking trains as well. I always forget about this shit, man. I'm probably gonna die to the Germans. Yeah, in the game, they 100% should. But I don't think they... They didn't realize until the very end that we were enemies. Because uh, we went into their... Uh, that that base that uh, Swimmy just died in there. After, like, driving around... Um, well, well, we also blew up the striker and shit like that. And doing some, like... A lot of nothing, but just, like, checking out, like, what we could get away with. Um, we ended up, um... Blowing up uh, a helicopter that landed in the base to pick us up. And then they uh, kind of caught on very quickly and murdered us. But I, it was also because my, uh... The, I, I reversed the escape jeep out. Uh, and I got stuck on top of, like, uh... 
what do you call it? Like, you've chopped down a tree, but there's still, like, the bottom part remaining. Uh, I got, I got the jeep stuck on that. It took me a minute to get away from it after getting stuck on it. Oh, we're on zero manpower right now? God damn. We gotta up that script. No, we, we don't actually have to. We'll get more manpower in a moment. I guess we could as well just up the conscription. Oh god, I'm training. Well, we can literally just walk around them. I should know if we can win that battle. We'll probably win this one. Nope. And then we can win this one. Push him to the river. Pin them in place. Oh. Now we can probably win the battle of Regan. Like, it should be pretty easy to kill the, the Baltic nations. They don't literally don't have troops. East Prussia. What? Do you just... Or oh, does it become a core? Do you get it? Or does it just become a... I feel like it just becomes a core. You don't actually grab it. Okay, just a core. Okay, I was like... For a second now, I was just like, oh yeah, Germany just loses that. That would be absolutely stupid. XP here. Yeah, I love it. that. That's the great thing about vanilla when you, you're used to playing TFB. You just get so much XP so fucking quickly as well. Why does this sound like Star Wars music? Norwegian resistance. Let's play SP in TFB. That's not how that works. And that, that mod sucks in single player. It's not made for single player. Gotta research some planes. I feel like this one would be good as well, so just so we pump out as much as possible. I don't think we need as much on... Okay, we do actually need a lot on guns, but... Oh, they're last standing. Cheetah! Cheetah! I just wanted to have fun, play Poland, guys. I actually do have a goal of uh, creating like a hundred high mass divisions and just uh, attacking the USSR with them. 
You know, like Poland IRL. Wait, they have a navy? Okay. Capturing a lot of wait, actually, we should probably pop up to War Eco next time if we can keep the war support up. I don't think we can. Economy wise, we're actually we're not catching up to Germany, but we're we're, we're popping up there. We we'll just start building planes ASAP. Pray that we can hold off the Soviets without planes, but. He's now infantry leader, that's great. We can just go up and declare on these guys immediately. can try playing as a government in exile. Uh, <laughs> good one, good one, good one. That was easy. If you just walk through them like this. Oh, that lake literally made me think that that was a province, the way that looks. Isn't that like what Marcel did at one point as well? I feel like that is actually a thing that he's done. They don't have a navy. Confirm an exit. Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. We build up like 24 units to take that. The rest of these guys go on this. Line up like that. Train, train, and train. Oh, I forgot to go war eco. But whatever, whatever. It's fine. Soviets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll deal with the Soviets whenever, okay? Like, look at that eco now. We're actually popping. We got that one. Is there anything else that's good here that we need? Like, we could get more sieves and shit, but... Like, the forts, maybe? To hold off the Germans? I don't fucking know what to do here. Putting cores on it would be nice, but...
I'd say it'd be easier to hold off the Germans. Or the West, uh, Plan West, uh, hold off the, the, not the Germans, but the, uh, the Soviets. We'll do that. We'll just build industry instead of uh, doing focuses for it. Did we add the AA? No, we did not. We need that. We have enough of it? We do not have enough of it. We need AA before we need artillery. That's the plane stuff. Maybe we could start designing. Wait, we can't even design a plane yet. We need an air advisor. Do we even have heavy machine guns yet? Do we start with those? We do not. We need those. I also probably need my own source of rubber as well. The Germans probably have a massive air force already. 1,000 planes. If we could just gather some, that's why we have AA. But if we just gather some planes. Get more research slots? That would be nice. Oh shit, this is what Putin was talking about! No! Can't believe it. Putin was right. The Poles collaborated with the Germans. Oh my god. The Poles overplayed. Bow heavy breathing. I just, I'm just. I'm just. I didn't know it was a thing. I didn't want to believe it. So how far can we go down like these focuses? We need the heavy MGs, then we'll start building some planes as well. But like 32 mils? I I believe guys, I believe. We need more people in the army, though. Oh, I gotta cover the ports as well. I keep forgetting about that. We need to push him out of Königsberg. That'll be the first thing. Now we gotta hold the checks as well. I mean, it's not 39 yet, and we're doing the defensive plans now. Is there anything down here that would help us? Like, give us stats. No. It's all about the left side. Or right side here. That'll give us defense bonuses. The main thing that'll be dangerous is the is the Russians coming in as well. So what does this even do? This just gives us construction speed. Wait. That's the central defense of Poland. Is that what it does? No. 
Oh, it's just in those areas we get extra land fort bonuses. I mean, we could build some forts, honestly, if we really wanna. How long does this one last one? Till 40? And the other one's for 500 days. We could start a little bit in a moment, but I don't wanna do it yet. I hope... Do they spawn with stuff? So if I click this one, it should have a bonus, right? Yeah. This one as well. This one as well. This one as well. And this one as well. Is this? No, this one does not. Okay, so we could build forts and like here. We build like level threes along the entire board. Is that gonna hold? I feel like it won't hold. Something tells me it will not hold. In 41. Oh god. Yeah. That is, uh... That was not hot for the poles, that plan. We got that guy as well. I mean, at least they've got some good advisors. And the forge will be built super quickly because you have so many bonuses to it. Like, look at that. Look at that. That's insane. Stadtsalta. So if you put like four heavy machine guns in this puppy, right? Is it still like where it's better to have double engines? Yeah, it is. That's actually so stupid. It's still better to build the planes like this. trade with our greatest trade partner, Hungary and Great Britain. <laughs> ah, for fuck's sake, I didn't pick the goddamn research guy. We'll see how it goes, boys. We'll see how it goes. I think I could turn shield mode off for now. We'll see how it goes. That means other people should be able to type as well now. How fast is this? Look at how fast that fort line gets built, by the way. That's a level 3 fort line. That's 70 days we started building it. 70 days ago. Like, it literally just gets shit out. No, we're gonna pump a little more up on planes. Hmm. So if we do this afterwards. Germany demands memo. Oh, God! Do we give a memo for the sake of it right now? I feel like we should just give a memo right now. Just because we, we're not ready for war right now. 
And then take it back as soon as they come for Nancic. No, don't. All right, Monk. I'll, I'll give you... I need a I need a two-sentence, like, Germany's super weak early on. Yeah, I'm so... So true, Monk. So true. So true, Monk. So true, Monk. That way the Czechs will join you? I don't think that's true. We, we lose like one mil and one sieve and we buy extra time. Alright, Monk. We must accept. I gave it up. It's okay, though. We'll just take it back. I don't believe in the Monk strategy. Like, we gotta finish the fault line, though. Real Danish hours. Hey, 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 peace in our time. I'm waving a piece of paper, guys. I have an agreement here from Mr. Hitler that he's not gonna do anything. Okay? Artillery piece, fantastic. Need new AA piece as well. We're pumping planes as well. It's beautiful. The Polish Air Force will rise. Uh oh. That was a lot of the sibs gone. How many planes? Uh, oh god, they have so many on planes. Uh oh. We need more men. I need to build like 24 troops for the south as well. We don't have the manpower. Uh oh. Uh, I can't go up on conscription law either. We need an army that defends the Czech border. Yeah, you're right on that. We don't have one yet, okay? But we have time. Okay, so if we do this one, does it spawn units? We need manpower, and I can't get manpower unless we're at war. We need these units to defend them. We literally need these guys! That's the fate of the Czechs! Uh oh. They can't be coming right now, right? That'd be impossible. They'd have to do Molotov first. How many guns do we have? We have 20,000 guns. We don't need any more guns. We need we need planes. We just need a lot of planes. We just need to win the air war. And then we win. Uh-oh. That is so not cool. Pump the forts. Pump the forts. Okay, we have level 6 
level seven forts up there. God damn. Okay, we got we got a pretty good defensive line up north. That ain't that won't fall. I I believe that. I believe in the in the defense line up there. Do I believe in anything else? No. We'll give the air in this area. Hopefully we'll win. No, no, no. We're getting trenchment. We're, we're waiting for the units to spawn, okay? We're waiting for the units to spawn. That's a strategy. Because they haven't done the Molotov yet, okay? There's no Molotov yet, so that means we have at least 70 days. Listen, guys. It's all okay. Look how fast the forts are being pooped out as well. Look at that. That's the Mountaineers right there. Please tell me they're good. Oh, that's a good Mountaineer template. Let's go. Can we actually add another guy to it? Yes, we can. Well, what about the rest of the stuff to it, though? But the Russian front line... Holy shit, they're so good as well! Jesus! We need more units. We need to just spam these guys out. More units. That's the Molotov. Now they're justified. Oh, shit. Look, if we beat them back in Königsberg immediately, we will win. We just can't lose a single fort. If we lose any fort, it's over for us. We're gonna get absolutely cock smashed. We won't be able to finish the defense line. I need the fucking army XP for the static warfare shit as well. Oh yeah, the naval invasion in Lithuania. Oh no, oh shit! Uh -huh. Look guys. It's not looking too good. Wait, why the fuck are we not stretched down here? Oh god, some of these lines are so weak. They're gonna smash right through it! Okay, we're gonna need to, like, cancel that fallback line right there. Just delete. Take that guy, throw him up here. Take this guy, throw him there. Three on each tile minimum. Like, this is not how we're meant to defend this shit. We don't need this much up here, because those are actual good forts. Put that guy down there. I need to poop these guys out and just like put them on the line. Are we gonna just pray that Romania and uh, the other guys won't join immediately? I do not believe in this. We have 800,000 men deployed. If we knock out Poland, not Poland, uh, <laughs> that up there immediately. We can't get naval invaded, okay, guys? That's the main thing right here. Take all of these. Be as cancerous as possible.
that. I gotta add AA to these guys immediately in case they get bombed. Look, there's one unit per tile over here. This is not it. We should uh, pull back a little bit to like this and then just pray that Hungary doesn't join the war. Look, if you look at the defense line, I believe in it. There are no forts on this line, though. That is kind of scary. Put mines in the Baltic. That that would actually be a valid strat if you just pump mines into this. That line will hold right there. This line will hold. I believe that. I don't believe that, actually. I made that up. We're gonna lose so fucking hard. It's crazy. Stop putting some uh, some spies in them so they can't get planning on us. If we take Königsberg, we've got 24 units we can reinforce with. We need to put the Polish guard on ports. There's so many ports to guard as well. Is it now? Three days. What else we got? I, 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 I have a different strategy if I ever do this again. Oh god, we only have 300 planes. We'll put it on interception. We should have had static warfare, so we could have had uh, max 10 plus entrenchment. We're at 61 entrenchment, hopefully that's enough. And we're still digging in with forts along the border. The northern front will not collapse. I know that much. I believe that. Alright, so what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna Tibet, Tibet, not that one, Tibet, and then we're gonna do this, when, when is the AI scripted to go in, where did these guys spawn, wait, it only gave me, Okay, gave me three divisions. What are they made out of? Oh god, they're terrible. Let them land in Nava if they want to. AI designed shit air, so there's that. Yeah, I don't think shit air is... I mean, I gotta go in like a, a half an hour to an hour anyways, guys. So, uh, we gotta try, right? We're gonna get smashed. Finish some forts! There it is. Oh god, we're losing everywhere. Oh shit! The Polish counterattacks will happen across the front. How 
How bad is it? Are we actually losing completely? Oh, oh God! How are they just breaking like that level four right there? Like, I don't understand. What? Oh. We have 900 defense. Okay, we're gonna have to give up some entrenchment to hold these areas. I think we can hold if we do this properly, guys. They're also force attacking across the entire front up there. Should I join the allies immediately? Now nah, we'll hold without them. Fuck the allies. Oh, we gotta do the defensive plans, right? Oh god, red bubbles. Hungary is not in the war yet, so that there's always that. Oh shit. Did we win our first battle or no? Okay. We're still popping. Still popping, still popping, popping. Uh oh. That unit better fucking reinforce. Stop that. Hold him. Never mind. That held that. We're holding. Okay. Okay, slow and steady, slow and steady. One tile at a time, one tile at a time. We have radios, we do have radios. Oh, here we go. Okay, we, we have to we have to commit to the attacker. No oh, come on. We still holding down here? This is not looking good down there. But we're still holding. We're still holding. Every tile is under our command. Okay, hold. What if we just attack here then? Click them out. Click them out. Offer military access. Offer military access. They can come in and help if they want to, but I don't want to join their stupid alliance. Oh, you can do defensive plans in their territory as well? Wow. Wait, that also gives attack bonuses. Should I be doing that in these areas? Yes, I should. Come to 
Okay, so far so good. Nice manpower. Oh no! Look, we'll capture Prussia and regain control over some manpower. Okay, our planes are better than their planes, but they have a lot of planes. So far, the front is holding. They really want to break that area. Gotta play it slow here, guys. Gotta play it slow. So we don't overplay. Oh, that one is looking a little spicy up there. That one on the left is looking spicy too. You can only attack from one angle here. That's level six. That one looks hella spicy. We need to win the battle up here as fast as possible, so we can we can relieve our troops. Oh god, the whole line is suffering from collapse right now. How many Germans have we killed so far? 59k. When's the French offensive? When did it start? <laughs> oh god, oh shit. Look, we've taken one tile from the Germans. They haven't taken a tile from us yet. If we just keep the game where it is right now. Why'd you just at me, ISP? The situation has not developed in the Polish favor. They're not gonna be taken dancing, guys. Come on. The situation is not looking hot. Oh god. Uh, maybe it is time to fortify the pots in area instead of that one. That is still a level 5 fort though, in a forest. Why not join the allies so they send troops? That would be the play.
we did fortify the planes. We fortified everything equally, I just didn't know how many forts it would deploy up here. So, like, the dancing area is never gonna fall. At least not at the moment. Maybe it is time to just set up defenses in this area and, and hold like this instead. Hold along the river. Give up on the initial tiles here. Start setting up a defensive line. <laughs> ISP, I, I did say when I took this that I did overplay my hand. And I did cooperate. I did, I did reinforce that. Uh, if the Hungarians join it, it's just Jova. Or if the Russians come in, it is just Jova. They they need to deal with Finland first. They can't they can't fight me. I'm too powerful. We're pulling back to the river now. That's the play. The tiny river. And we'll dig in there in trenches. But the the railway though. Nah, it'll be fine. If you don't unpause, you never lose. Actually a true statement right there. How many Germans have we killed so far? Seventy two thousand. We're gunning down so many planes as well. Look at that. Look at look at that war participation as well. 93%. The allies truly were useless. Oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Encirclement Reddit. No, no, no. Do not attack. Do not attack. We do need to ship people into that, like, salient right there. No, you guys dig in. You guys move. We want to try and hold on to Potsdam, the supply hub. Nobody's moving into that tile. I'll move a unit in and just hold the fort, honestly. Digging in on the river. That's the next play of the plan here. Come on, encirclement, boys. That's two divs gone, boys. Two divs. If we hold it. Oh, they already took it. Uh oh. Okay, they took that tile now. That's, that's, that's. Whew. Hold on, hold the phone. We just need Königsberg secured. If we get Königsberg, it's over. We get 24 troops we can send down for that area. Look, as long as they don't move out of that, what they just took. I just need these divs dead. But they won't fucking die. Oh god. The push. If we can just manage to postpone the attacks on the south there. Uh, 
How long is that gonna be? One day. We can get one good division in there, right? Yeah, we got it. They, they aren't dying in there, man! Man! Alta! Zero manpower? I'm aware! We need to capture stuff to get manpower, motherfucker! I don't have any PP. Pee -pee. I don't know how to get PP. PP? We're gonna work on getting Corsa, because we don't actually have Corsa yet. We need that one. Alta. Oh, this is a shitter division. Maybe we can kill it. Yeah, the line is being fortified everywhere. So uh, when, they, when we eventually fall back, we will hold, I believe. Set up the next defensive line. We still have some of the fort line here. And if you look at it, it's still somewhat, like, intact. Let's repair everything first. It's so close! Königsberg is also open, man. If I hit force attack, we'd lose so much manpower, but I could kill him immediately. And that unit won't die in there. We are sure we get the kill. Okay, we've got that locked down now. Somewhat, the front line is stabilizing a little bit here, okay? We're stabilizing. We're losing a lot of manpower we can't afford to lose right now. Okay, we, we, we did that. The Germans are leaving. They're overplaying their hand. I just love that quote so much. Okay, here they come. They're going for the, the actual attack now. The rivers will stop them, right? It's a minus 45%. Oh god, oh shit. I just needed this shit dead, man, and they won't die. They refuse to die. Wait, would I be able to move this way? Then? Yes. Potsman just needs to hold for as long as possible, there, okay? Okay, we'll set up a defensive line uh, around Krakow. In case we lose the south. Just in preparation for losing the south, because the Germans have moved tanks down there. Which is not optimal. Yikes. Uh, anyone we can give anything? Look, Potsdam is about to fall. That one, it's a lost cause, but it would be nice if we could get it. But I, I don't actually believe in the defense of Potsdam anymore. 
Krakow will be a fortress city. Um. <laughs> oh God. Look, as long as they don't break the river line. That fort right there is kind of important. So we've got to somehow try and hold that. I need manpower. I need so much manpower. We almost have them, guys, okay? I just need one last force attack. One last force attack. On Königsberg. It is, it is crucial if we get Königsberg, chat. For the war effort. Oh my god! Nah, 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 hold on to it, hold on to it. We hold on to it, we hold. Okay, it's a good thing I pulled back and set up the, the Krakow uh, fortress. Honestly, let's build a couple forts there as fast as possible, just to bolster the defense line. Same here. But, uh, Krakow first. No, the defense line! Maybe I should have built the four turns instead. Ah. Uh. I need to bolster the line. We need to win the battle up here. Then we can send the reinforcements back down and await the French offensive, okay? But I, I, I need the allies to join me. Come in, UK. Please bring troops in. What are you doing? Please! How many Germans have I killed? 200,000 Germans. It's only the 20th of September! I looked away, I forgot I forgot I unpaused there for a second. Oh please do not cross the river. I beg of you. Wait, 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 these are the good forts. These are the forts we're meant to hold, guys. Activate the defense I just used the PP. I needed that PP! Doesn't matter. We need it. We need it. We need it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we, we, we'll take we'll take it as a victory, okay guys? Still. It's a strategic victory when we take Königsberg. Look, we'll just wait like a hundred days and then we get it. The Germans are encircled. They overplayed their hands. Oh, shit. Pots then! It doesn't really matter as much. If we lose pots, then it's still gonna be. But it's a good fort, though. It's a level 5. We're losing this up here now. Look. It's not looking hot right now, guys. Potsdam defense was a failure. Go to. Go. 
Lock it down, boys. Lock it down. I guess we're gonna have to start building the forts here. Well, we already are. Oh, shit. Why did I say Potsdam? The Potsdam. Come on. We win this battle. And, and we win the war. Okay, 200 days, guys. We can we can fix the situation in the 200 days. Look, okay. Counterattack. Cross the river. Let's go. Full power. Look, I actually think we've got the Germans in their, like, on their knees right now. Just think about when they lose this, Hitler will have to surrender. Just think about the German casualties. So one tile at a time here, guys. I have given access to the British. They're not common. The so-called Allied Offensive is not common. It's just the title of a Medal of Honor game, nothing else. If we manage to push them back, look at that. Then we can set up a defense line further ahead and strengthen our position. There's so many units down here, man. I need to just start pulling the fuck out of her. Look, we smash him over here. Then we've got 24 units available for combat. Oh, what the fuck are the Germans doing? I mean, we're still holding pretty well right now, honestly. Like, uh, I feel like the Germans will lose steam in a moment. Right? That's all. Just had a cat come down, guys, that wanted to be pet. That's all. Yeah, she just, like, when she wakes up, she's like, mm, and comes down and wants to be pet. And then uh, she, like, walks out again. I don't know where she's going now, but. Ah, I may have been screaming a little too much. That's why she's woken up. Okay, that's Finland. The Germans are desperate. Oh no 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 I forgot all these units are green as well. No 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 that is bad. Very very bad. If they if we lose that, that's a major river, isn't it? I swear it's a major river. But does it not count as a major river? That is bad. We really need these reinforcements, man. Man! We, we, we have to speed this up. Let's 
speed things up. Come on. Watch those. We gotta beat beat him back across the river. Come on, lads! Use the wrong thing. I don't even give a shit anymore. I just need the PP, because then we can, if we could throw an army together, the Soviets are bad, the Soviets are really bad. We just hold a line that's called, because uh, like, there's favorable terrain in some areas against the Russians. We hold the river up here, then the forest and down here. That's that's what we'll do. Maybe even like river, to, like, no, no, yeah, we'll hold the major river up north. The lines are wavering. It's also because we're missing manpower, though. That that's a huge portion of this. There you go. They're dead. Now that's the actual army. We'll need to send that south to relieve the situation down there as soon as this is gone. I think what we'll do is we'll throw them like this and we will counterattack in that area. I believe chat. That was the that was the main culprit right there. Spread out boys, go. Yes, the allies are in the same war. That gives us more time. The Lindleys. Do I have planes in the stockpile that I'm not using? No, I do not. Oh god. There are massive counterattacks uh, happen. Uh, a massive counterattack about to happen, and it is going to crush them. Yes. No. I just used the PP again. I just used the PP. Again. <laughs> we needed it. We needed that. I I'll take that. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it as a necessity. It is a necessity. To beat them back! Full power! Look at that! Look at that! Easy money! All because of the PP I clicked. How long do I have until the Russians? 200 days. That was uh, that was something right there, guys. That was a that was a defense and a half. Oh God, we need more people in there. 
Look at that. We pushed them back and destroyed them. What are the what are the German casualties at now? Look at that. They they can't even like sustain this. They're already at extensive conscription. I never even made them 20 whiffs. Oh god, oh fuck. Look, the southern front line has been stabilized. Ask for garrison support? We don't we have nothing to garrison. Everything is a core in a second at least. The counterattack! I see the opportunity. It's all about seizing the moment, chat. Push them back. Look, manpower's coming. Manpower's coming now. So we have cause on this now. Wait. That still counts as occupation then? What? Oh, there we go. Fantastic. If we could win that battle, we'd be so bossing, but that one as well if we take the mountains. If we're somehow able to make it into that mountain tile. Oh, oh. And then we take that mountain tile. But I need to pin these guys down there. Oh. Okay, look, look. Do we go for the overstretched attack? Or do we attack her? To the side of the Germans. We need to hold on to that as well. How's the northern situation? Good? You just mount this as shot troopers? I don't think we have anything that could constitute anything as shot troopers. Just blast through that line. It's one tile, and then we win. Come on, 73! They're almost out. As soon as this battle stops, we'll, we'll counterattack as well. That is not good if we lose that one. It'll endanger the whole salient. Please reinforce, please reinforce. Yes. The battle goes on. Come on. Come on, baby. The rest of the front line has stabilized. Now we attack from that side. That'd be four German divisions if we get this. Maybe five. Wait. 21 hours. We're gonna make it before them. Yep. Now we close. Close that pocket. Gangster blast that pocket. That's five divisions gone, boys, and we have now secured the borders again. And another strategic victory for the Polish command. Slowly chipping away at the German armed forces.
all about luring them in. We've even taken a tile of the enemy land now. We are losing over here though? No, that's the standard battle where the AI is glitching out. That's okay. Now we have secured the southern flank. Okay, what are we at now? 700k casualties to the Germans. We've lost a little bit of land over here, but not too much. Only thing about the AI is that they're like set to never push over there. That's the sad things. So, we'll never get an advance. The Russians are getting closer. Oh, you can't do desperate defense at the moment, I'm pretty sure. You need to be like 50%. If you could push to the river like this, it'd be so much easier to defend, but we don't have the manpower. I also need to go now, chat, sadly. Uh, so I gotta finish up some work and I gotta cook dinner as well. So I will, uh, your northern troops are gonna move. You stretch the front line in the south. Oh, uh, no, they're not, because they're not connected to a front line anymore. Like this is only a uh, front line to gain uh, bonuses, uh, attack bonuses. It's not front line to actually move the troops. They're all on garrison orders, so they're, they're all manually placed. I will have to leave after that. Uh, we managed to somehow hold. Uh, I don't know if I'll continue this. We'll see. I, I might play on my own again. Just like I do with Vicky. Uh, but I feel like uh, that was uh, somewhat successful. Like we managed to push him out of the south here. We haven't lost. We've, we've lost like one tile in the south now. Gained one. And we've lost a state so far. Potsdam, that's it. The only real VP we've lost is Potsdam. Everything else we hold on to. And then we've taken Königsberg. We've taken more than we've lost. Why is Monk typing L and it's just a photo or it's just a blank photo? Alright, I'm uh, I'm uh, head out, guys. That was fun, though. I like this. I, it's, it's a little uh, harder than just playing any other nation. I kind of want to continue it, though. But... Maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll come back with it and we'll see what we can do with it. But I I wanted to like build up like a high mass army and attack the Russians with it, but it ain't happening. It ain't happening. I'm kind of sad we don't get the planes out. Maybe more planes would but you can't you can't deal with the German planes. That's that's another problem. And the Germans don't even fight the English Air Force. What's the losses in to total here in the months? Fighters lost. Yeah, we shoot down more of theirs, but they just produce so much more. How does the garrison thing work without them going anywhere? So you garrison like Tibet, because you're not at war with Tibet. And then you set up a field mark. You, you you do it on every single one of the generals, except like this guy I've got front line with. Uh, I don't know why I did that. It's just to spread them out, I guess. Uh, and then you put up a field marshal front line, and then they won't go to the field marshal front line because you can see there's no units attached to it. It's just an empty field marshal front line. But they're all attached to uh, the field marshal, so they get the bonuses off it. And then you move it yourself. That's uh, basically how you play Hoi 4 in multiplayer. It works really well in single player because that way you avoid. I know they made it better with um, what is it? This thing, the cohesion. Um, but seems like an exploit. No, that's just how you play the game in multiplayer. Hi. Okay, my cat wants to be pet, so I'm gonna head out now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back with Vicky in like three hours. Bye bye.